Hey everyone, welcome to our Render Spaz video tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how you can create subsurface scattering uh, within inside of um, iRay. And uh, what I have here is, uh, I'm going to show you two, two examples of, uh, uh, in some scenes here, of using uh, subsurface scattering. So this way you can apply this to your scenes if you have uh, anything organic or you need anything with uh, an object that needs to have light passing through. Uh, to give a realistic effect, whether it's oranges or if it's something like that, uh, it's food like bread. Uh, sometimes there's light that casts through it. Um, we're, what I'm going to do here is show you through this. I call this a sphere tornado or a sphere nato, <laughs> and um, I just use some particle effects uh, just to kind of get something um, unique instead of just a bunch of uh, spheres randomly placed uh, on the grid. I want to just uh, show you guys a bunch of different ones going in a vortex spin uh, and I can show you how a light can cast through um, this object here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a light. I'll go over here to our photometric. We'll go to target light. Okay, it's going to ask you if you want to use a exposure control, which is the mental ray uh, photographic controls. Yes, I can I'll use that. And uh, let's just lay out a light here okay go to the perspective mode just uh, drag this guy up and right now we're not going to see anything changing here in the real time so what we got to do is we got to just uh, refresh and now we see uh, our effect our light being cast into our object here so if we move this around we can see in the real time everything is starting to change Okay, so right now we're a little bright. Uh, what I'm going to do is let's go into our environment editor here. Let's come down and uh, let's make the exposure around maybe six. Okay, so that's not too too bad. Oops, a little bit. Uh, let's take a look here. It's a little hot still, so maybe we'll go. Try seven. Well, that's not too bad for now. That's this is this will be good enough for an example, and then we can uh, we can mess with it a little bit later. All right, so we'll toss the light in, and now what we're going to look at is our materials here. So here, let me get a camera so that we can get a fixed location here. Just kind of come around this thing. Zoom in a bit. This should work for now. All right, so we need to set up a subsurface material for iRay, okay? And you can use the iRay material, but I'm actually going to go with uh, using. Now let's just um, cancel out our real time for a minute so we can see our materials. I'm just going to not use uh, the iRay material plugin. I'm going to use. Uh, the ArcViz that comes with uh, 3ds Mac, or Art, sorry, Arc Design. Okay, I'm going to use that. We're going to apply that to the spheres. Now we hit render. Okay, we're going to see uh, those guys applied. Okay. All right, so uh, we don't see our preview here, but I believe I can adjust down here our settings, and uh, we can start getting some. Uh, different results to our uh, subsurface. All right, so let's just change the color out. Our diffuse could go something uh, let's pick a color here. Maybe something with a uh, let's go with a green maybe. Maybe something not too uh, too ridiculous here, something like that. All right, and then um, so what we want to do is we're going to focus on our refraction area here. So as you can see, we got our transparency, which is set to zero. All right, so if we uh, apply, if we put transparency to one, we're going to get a glass. Uh, you're not even going to see it because there's nothing really uh, reflecting uh, right now in the scenes. So we're not in any HDR, so we're not going to really see that. Uh, but once we check on our transparency, or sorry, our translucency, uh, what's going to happen is, 
it's going to kind of it's going to ignore our refraction okay and actually right now you can already see uh this organic looking effect this is almost like something that you can have use uh, for an animation of um some kind of medical animation uh, something with uh, showing you know, i don't know organic uh could be like blood cells whatever you can use these kind of materials to get this effect and something that looks uh, very cool for uh, medical uh, illustrations and uh, things like that uh, in that nature um, but you can see right now it's basically the translucency that's coming through it has weight which is default by 0.5 um, and it's also going off this color here all right um, if we take our transparency and put it back to zero, what's going to happen is um, we are going to lose the effect. All right, so we pretty much lost it. It's going off now the diffuse color only. Okay, um, so what we're going to do, so if we actually, if we go 0.5, okay, let's get maybe a little bit of that. We're going to see that we've got some of the green and we get some of this color here of their translucency. So when you play around with these numbers here, our transparency and our color of our translucency, um, these will tie in with each other. So um, if we come up here and we add more weight to the uh, translucency, we're going to get more of this color here bouncing in. Okay, and this is all based off your your lighting that uh, that is in your scene. So I have that one direct light going through that photometric light that um, that's coming up here on the top here. It's just bouncing in through the, the objects. But right now you can see um, we get this this weird mixture here between the brown and the green. Now this obviously doesn't look that real right now, but if we wanted this to make or if we wanted this to be kind of like a grape or something like that. Uh, we could go up and maybe make this a yellowish green. All right, and you can start to see, look at that. It's almost looking like grapes, um, and it's starting to work flawlessly. So what we now have to do is play with our transparency a bit. So if I go 0 0.2 instead of 0 0.5, uh, we're going to introduce, oh, sorry, um, we want to go upwards. So if we go to 0.6 uh, or 0.8, there we go. We're starting to see the, the translucency come up through a lot more, and that's um, that's pretty much how that works. And it works really well in iRay, which is impressive. Okay, you get this all in real time. And this is running actually on the GPU. This is actually hybrid. This is CPU and GPU together. Uh, but you can see that where the light's coming through. You're starting to see these glowing coming through the backside of these spheres. Okay. Um, so these adjustments uh, all have within within the translucency adjustment here and the weight and our transparency. These all have uh, these all play a big part. Now, another thing to keep in mind is sometimes what I like to do is add a little bit of I uh, bring the glossiness down just a bit. So that way it blurs the inside of our of our refraction. Okay, so it won't be completely see-through. It's going to blur it out a bit, and uh, that can give us some organic flesh, some kind of uh, you know fruit flesh or whatever it is that, uh, that you're trying to mimic here. Now, the other thing is you got to know is that um, with this this kind of setting right now, we have a lot of noise going through the scene, so you really have to let that render out. Uh, but once it's uh, all said and done, it's going to look very very cool. All right, so if we go to our translucency, we go back to one. All right, add some more weight. You can start to see we get the light just passing through. Looks pretty cool. Um, we can add some refraction, or sorry, reflection. All right, but right now we don't have any HDR. If we put an HDR in here, we can really start to uh, see some cool results. So. What I'm going to show you now is another example with a little bit more, or where we, where you would use this kind of uh, material, and that's going to be in um, the scene here. Let's bring it up. 
Okay, so right now, before I bring it up, I better shut this guy down. I'm asking too much uh, out of the machine right now. All right, so I set up, um, I'm using these uh, preset models here, okay? Um, I've already set up the camera, and I'm going to show you a demonstration of the materials in a scene that would actually, you would uh, use the subsurface materials in. So what I have here is just a quick HDR uh, set up with a uh, cutting board, and I just used uh, an HDR in the back, uh, set up some depth of field, and right here we already have a quite nice setup of some raspberries, but we don't have any translucency going through them, so the light's not really passing through and giving that, uh, that translucent effect that you would see if a light would hit a fruit and pass through the uh, flesh of it. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to work with the materials that we already have, um, and we're going to see some better results here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is hit the. I'm going to bring up our material editor. All right. And the first thing I'm going to do is just gonna shut this down for one sec. I'm going to render setup. We're using a 720. We don't need 720. I'm going to go with the 800 by. 450, that should be good. All right. And we're going to select the raspberry flesh. Okay. And uh, we already have the maps applied. Okay. Um, our diffuse maps. And then what we're going to do is going to come into render setup here. The active shade window. And let's see what we can work with here. All right, so right now it almost looks like light is passing through, um, but it's not. So right now our material is set, and you can see again, with the refraction we got nothing on right now. So what we're gonna do is let's go right to the translucency. Let's turn it on, and you're gonna already see the change. Oh, well, you're not gonna see actually anything uh, because we don't have our transparency uh, checked on here yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to say 0.5. Let's get a starting uh, color going on here. And you can see right now this is we're using the, the brown color. You can see it just a little bit here. It's passing through um, and up here. But that's not realistic. We, what we got to do is actually change the color. And I believe that raspberries would have a lighter pink um, color going through them. So we're going to go up to Say we can go to the red. We can go down here, something like this, in this range, hit OK. Uh, and then what we got to do is ask for more weight. So we want to see more of it. And you can see it just comes through a little bit here. But our transparency has to change. So our transparency, we can probably pretty much put it to like 0.7. OK, and you can already see the light starting to pass through. Um, and I'm just slowly adjusting this. So if I go to a one, there you go. You can already see the glow effect happening here. And this is all based off an HDR. There is no uh, photometric light in there uh, that is causing the uh, subsurface to work here. This is all just from the HDR. So our hot spots of the HDR is causing our subsurface to work. So that looks good. We have this kind of, so everything's now going off this color. We got 100% on the transparency, 100% on the translucency, and now it's just using this color as a, uh, as its reference now. So as I change this, um, we can make it a little bit more, maybe a little too red there. So if I bring this down, you can start to see the glowing effect in here, okay? So one is where you want to go here. I can probably go 0.5 here just to uh, make sure that I'm not exactly seeing right through. But you can see now the translucency working and uh, subsurface scattering is uh, going quite nice. So now the only thing that we have to do now is change the trans uh, lucency on their leaves to get some light passing through there, uh, and then that will be the shot. All right, so I'll come up here and just select our leaf. 
Okay, and this same goes for the leaves, is we want to um, take on our translucency. Okay, obviously nothing's gonna work right now because we have to make sure we have some transparency added here. So I'm gonna go with the 0.5 again, start off with that. Okay, and then we're gonna come over and just change it to like a lighter green color. You can already see it's already affected, but if we bring up our weight to one, that's pretty much 100%. Uh, you can already see, you know, you can see where the light's coming through, it's hitting this top. It's, actually, this is a separate material, so I don't know what I'm about to say, I was gonna hit this, but not hit that. These guys are two separate materials, so we're gonna have to also get this guy. But you can see though, as the light is coming through, um, this is looking quite nice, we just need to get some more hue out of this, or sort of more saturation. And then we just bring these guys down. So uh, maybe about 0.3. Too, too much going on there, but that should do it. Okay, so this will be uh, 7.5. I'm going to copy this color. Right click, copy. I'm going to come over here, grab this guy, and I'm going to apply. Oops. Let's take this on. Right click, paste. Point seven five five. That should change right here. Okay, you can see we got a little bit of light going through. Um, I might just have to refresh. I don't know if that is working or not. Okay, yeah, it is. Okay, so let's go. Let's get some more light out of that. Uh, you know what it is. It's going based off this. If you clear this out, it's because I had a map on there. There we go. Look at that. The guy was just being stubborn because I had a map on the transparency. So I just had to take that off. But there you go. Now you can see the, the light coming through parts of the leaves, and that's going to give you that nice realistic look. Uh, as if it was a very thin material there, uh, which it is. Uh, any kind of like leaves or um, have. Uh, some really translucency going through them. So that's pretty much how that works in iRay. Um, without even using the iRay material plugin, uh, we just use the arc and design. Uh, and yet, now that you guys see uh, the results in real time here, uh, try playing with your scenes or try coming up with some spheres and just try to mess around with the materials uh, of the translucency and refraction, and you guys will get some really cool results. And um, hope you learned something from that, guys. And uh, Stay tuned for more tutorials at www.renderspaz.com. All right, guys. See you later.